Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on where you are in the world. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Today I am going to read Psalm 91. I am going to read it repeatedly. Until my voice wears out, I am going to read it. So you can engrave it in your heart. So you can memorize the words that you will have them with you in your heart and mind in your time of trouble, that you can pray this prayer every day. Pray this psalm daily. And let us begin. We are in the Old Testament in the King James Version of the Holy Bible. Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor the, for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder and the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life, will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Now, I'm going to read it again, and I'm going to um, read the words that um, give the verse a uh, clearer meaning. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler or the trapper of birds and from the noisome pestilence or the perilous or deadly pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust or take refuge. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler, and a buckler is a small shield. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, or of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, for the destruction that wasteth, nor for the destruction that wasteth or lays waste at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, or thy dwelling place. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. 
for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways they shall bear thee up or lift you up in their hands lest thou dash or strike thy foot against a stone thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder and the adder is a cobra the young lion and the dragon the dragon is the serpent shalt thou trample under feet because he has set his love upon me this is the lord's words because he has set his love upon me therefore will i deliver him i will set him on high because he hath known my name he shall call upon me and i will answer him i will be with him in trouble i will deliver him and honor him with long life or length of days will i satisfy him and show him my salvation psalm 91 he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty i will say of the lord he is my refuge and my fortress my god in him will i trust surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and buckler thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the arrow that flieth by day nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor for the destruction that lays waste at noonday a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but it shall not come nigh thee only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked because thou hast made the lord which is my refuge even the most high thy dwelling place there shall no evil befall thee neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways they shall bear thee up in their hands lest thou dash thy foot against a stone thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder an adder which is a cobra snake the young lion and the dragon which is a serpent shalt thou trample under feet because he has set his love upon me therefore will i deliver him i will set him on high because he hath known my name he shall call upon me and i the lord god almighty will answer him i the lord god almighty will be with him in trouble i the lord god almighty will deliver him and honor him with long life or length of days will i satisfy him and show him us my salvation he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and buckler thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the arrow that flieth by day 
nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, for the destruction that wasteth at noonday, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold, and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy dwelling place, habitation, because you live with him, you dwell with him, he's in your heart, he's in your mind, you love him with all your heart, your mind, your soul, and your strength. There shall no evil befall thee, Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways, to keep you from stumbling and falling off the narrow path, for to keep you from disobeying his commandments and not following his precepts. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways, all thy ways, his ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou, you, dash thy foot against a stone. This was also written of Jesus Christ. Verse 12 here. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the cobra, which is deadly, lest thou dash or strike thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon, the serpent shalt thou trample under feet, because he, God in heaven, has set his love upon me, you, your family. Therefore will he, Deliver him. He will set him on high, because he hath known God's name. He, God Almighty, shall call you, shall call upon, upon him. When you call upon him, and he will answer you. He, he, all, God Almighty, will be with you in trouble. He will deliver you and honor you. With long life will he satisfy you and show you his salvation. Here in Psalm 91 verse 1, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide. And we can go we could go to Psalm twenty seven five and find that written there. And under the shadow of the Almighty we could find in Psalm seventeen eighteen. Oh, in the first part we could find also in Psalm thirty one twenty and Psalm thirty two seven. Verse two. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. And we can find that in Psalm 142, verse 5. Verse 3. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. We can find that in Psalm 124, verse 7. Verse 4, he shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. And that can be found in Psalm 17, verse 8. Verse 5, thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Verse 6. Verse 5 can be found in Job 
verse, uh, chapter 5, verse 19. Verse 6, For the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday, a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Verse 8, Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold, and see the reward of the wicked. And that we can find in Malachi chapter 1, verse 5, verse 9. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. My refuge, even the Most High, we can find in Psalm 91, verse 2. And, saw, and then... Um, thy habitation or thy dwelling place in psalm 90 verse 1 verse 10 there shall no evil befall thee neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling and we can find that in proverbs chapter 12 verse 21 the bible is like a beautiful tapestry it is woven together so beautifully oh god's word his it's his love letter to us here verse 11 for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways that can be found in hebrews chapter 1 verse 14 verse 12 they shall bear thee up in their hands lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. And that we can find in Matthew, verse 4, I mean, chapter 4, verse 6, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Verse 13, thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, which is the cobra, the young lion and the dragon, which is the serpent, shalt thou trample under feet. Verse 14, because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. Known my name can be found in Psalm 9, verse 10. Chapter, verse 15, he shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble i will deliver him and honor him call upon me and i will answer him that can be found in psalm 50 verse 15 and i will be with him in trouble i will deliver him and honor him in isaiah 43 verse 2 verse 16 with long life or length of days will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalm 91 He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy dwelling place. 
there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, your home. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands. The angels will lift you up, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon lion and cobras, the young lion and serpents. Thou shalt not thou shalt trample them under your feet. You have power over them. Because he has set his love upon me, because you have set your love upon him, therefore will he deliver you. He will set you on high, because you have known his name. He shall call, you shall call upon him, and he will answer you. He will be with you in trouble. He will deliver you and honor you. With long life will he satisfy you and show you his salvation. It's such a beautiful psalm. And so many people take refuge in this psalm. There was a story that in England, and I had said it was a regiment, but it was a brigade. They call them brigades in, in England. And this troop, this troop 91, this brigade, they carried on themselves Psalm 91. And every day before they went into battle, they prayed this psalm. And although the brigades all around them lost men in battle, they never lost a single soldier. He said this psalm every day before they went out. Please write this down and put it on a wall where you can see it coming in your house and going out your house. Write it down and put it in your wallet. Put it in your kid's backpack and teach them to say it. Teach them to pray. He is so good to us. He will fulfill his words. Here, Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, or you will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Surely He, God Almighty, shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He, God Almighty, shall cover thee with His feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His God Almighty, his truth, shall be thy or your shield and buckler. Thou, you, shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy, your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come nigh you. Only with thine eyes, your eyes, shalt thou, you, behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou, you, because you hast made the Lord God Almighty, which is your refuge, even the most high, thy dwelling place. 
your dwelling place under his wing. There shall no evil befall you, neither shall any plague come nigh your, your dwelling, your home, your house, your family. For he, Lord God Almighty, shall give his, Lord God Almighty, his angels charge over thee, you, to keep thee, to keep you in all thy ways, in all the things that you do, that you follow his commandments and practice his precepts. Oh, the path is so na narrow. The path is so narrow that he will keep his angels to help you. They shall bear you up. In their hands, the angels shall bear you up in their hands, lest you dash thy foot, your foot, against a stone. If you are righteous with God, if you are holy in his eyes, you can count on these words to hold you up, to protect you and your family. He is our dwelling place. He is our safety. His word is our truth. <laughs> Jesus is the way, the, the, the truth, and the life. Thou, you, shall tread upon the lion and cobra. The young lion and the serpent will thou, you, you will trample under feet because you, no, because he, Lord God Almighty, has set his, Lord, all God, Lord God Almighty, his love upon you. Therefore will the Lord God Almighty deliver you. He will set you on high, because you have known his name. Lord God Almighty shall call upon you. No, you shall call upon him, and he will answer you. He will be with you in trouble. He will deliver you and honor you because you honor him. With long life will he satisfy you and show you his salvation. Oh, the beautiful, beautiful salvation. The forgiveness of sins. Oh. What Christ did when he died on the cross for us. Don't let that precious gift slip away. Stay right with him. Repent of your sins. Pray to him daily. Make him your dwelling place. Dwell under his wing. Oh man, let his feathers cover you and your family. Mm -hmm. Just think how powerful God is. If he says mm -hmm. he will protect you, he will. And let's read this again. Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His trust shall be thy shield and buckler. And a buckler is a small shield. So your big problems and your little problems. 
thou shalt not be afraid for the arrow by night, for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation or dwelling place. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. If you're still here, repeat after me. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for that arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made 
the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy dwelling place. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thy doubt, da, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and cobra. The lion and the serpent shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. Will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Now I'm going to read it verse by verse. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Verse 2. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In him will I trust. Verse 3. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Verse 4. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Verse 5. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Verse 6. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. Verse 7, a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Verse 8, only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. 
verse 9. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy dwelling place. Verse 10. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Verse 11. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Verse 12. They shall bear thee up in their hands lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Verse 13. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and cobra. The young lion and the serpent shalt thou trample under feet. Verse 14. Because he has set his love upon me, Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. Verse 15. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Verse 16. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. My favorite verse is verse 4. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. What is your favorite verse? There are only 16 verses here. Oh. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Remember when they were coming out of Egypt and God was a fire in a cloud by night to light their way and a cloud for a covering during the day? Oh, under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. My favorite verse, verse 4, he shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust or take refuge. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler, the shield of faith. Verse 5, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy dwelling place. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, your home, your house. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all his ways. They, the angels, shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and cobra. 
the young lion and the serpent shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him, and I will be with him in trouble, and I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show my salvation. Our God is so good to us. He is our refuge. He is our shield and our buckler. He defends us against the wiles of the devil. He has given us the shield of faith, whereby we can quench all the fiery darts and wiles of the devil and his evil demons and all those that follow him. Oh. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my high tower. Remember David in verse 18, in Psalm 18? But we'll, maybe we'll read that one next. My God in Him will I trust. Yes, let's go to Psalm 18 right now. And I hope you guys have your Bibles out. So that you're seeing these words with your eyes and it's making it stick better in your mind and in your heart. These are powerful words to our God in heaven. I can't I couldn't find my glasses, so I just went with the magnifying glass. Oh man. Oh David. King David, uh, to the chief musician, Psalm 18, a psalm of David, the servant of the Lord. We're servants of the Lord as well. Who spake unto the Lord the words of this song, and the day that the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemies, and from the hand of Saul, who sought to kill him day and night and he said and David said I will love thee O Lord my strength the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer my God my strength my rock in whom I will trust my buckler shield and the horn of my salvation, the strength of his salvation, and my high tower, his stronghold. Oh, he's like a mighty fortress built around you and me, his children. And David says, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. The sorrows of death compassed me. They're all about him. They're all around him. And the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows or the, the uh, pangs of hell compassed me about. The snares of death prevented me. Oh, no, I read that wrong. The sorrows of hell, which are the cords, the cords like the ropes of Sheol, which is hell, compassed me about, and the snares of death confronted me, prevented me, or confronted me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried unto my God, he heard my voice out of his temple. Or, <laughs> wow, <laughs> out of his temple. That's verse 6. 
from his temple. How did he know David's name? David was his one of his beloved. David prayed to him. David trusted in him. David praised his name. David prayed to him. God knew his name. That's why we pray and talk to our God and study his word to show ourselves approved. And he heard my voice out from his temple and my cry came before him even into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken because he was wroth or angry. They were after his servant, his loyal servant, his king David, whom he loved. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils, and fire out of his mouth devoured. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also, and came down, and darkness was under his feet. And he rode upon a cherub, and did fly. Yea, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his secret place. His pavilion round about him were dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. He is angry at that brightness that was before him. His thick clouds passed. Hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered in the heavens. And the highest gave his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. Yea, he sent out his arrows and scattered them, scattered his enemies. And he shot out lightnings and discomfited them. He vanquished them. Then the channels of waters were seen. And the foundations of the world were discovered or uncovered at thy rebuke, O Lord, at the blast of the breath of thy nostrils. You know, with the breath of his word, he created all of the world, the universe, the stars, the sun, the moon, all the trees, the herbs of the field the flowers, the oceans, the rivers, the lakes, and all that live in the sea. He told the waves where to stop at the shore. He knows each star by name. <laughs> he created everything that was created with the breath of his word. And now here he is angry. Ooh. O oh Lord, at the blast of the breath of thy nostrils, just him snorting out of his nose, just breathing out of his nose, he sent from above. He took me. He drew me out of many waters. And waters, we know, represent people. He delivered me from my strong enemy. Who's our strong enemy? And from them which hated me, who hates us? For they were too strong for me. He is our refuge. Take, take shelter under his wings. They prevented me or confronted me in the day of my calamity. But the Lord was my stay, his support. He brought me forth also into a large place, a broad place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness. See, according to his righteousness. According to the cleanness of my hands, he recompensed me. 
God's just not going to be nilly-willy about who he's protecting. He's going to protect the righteous and those with clean hands, those that do his commandments and follow his precepts, that walk in love, that praise his holy name, that know him and he knows you. That's who he's going to rescue. For I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his judgments were before me. And I did not put away his statutes from me. I was also upright before him and I kept myself from mine iniquity from sinning and that's the beautiful gift of salvation if we sin we can seek forgiveness if we're truly sorry in our hearts he is faithful to forgive our sins but we have to try i kept myself from mine iniquity things that you know are sins Pray against them. If you have to pray against them a hundred times a day, pray against them that they stay far away from you and you don't, you know, fall underneath them and have them trample you. Therefore hath the Lord recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands, in his eyes, in his eyesight, with the merciful that will show thyself merciful, with an upright man that will show thyself upright, with the pure that will show thyself pure, and with the forward that will show thyself forward, for thou will save the afflicted people but will bring down high looks or haughty looks. For thou will light my candle, my lamp, my light. The Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. For by thee I have run through a troop, and by my God have I leaped over a wall. For as for my God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. For who is God save the Lord? Or who is a rock save our God? It is God that girdeth me with strength and maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hinds feet and setteth me upon high places. He teacheth my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. He's our strength. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation and thy right hand hath holding me up, and thy gentleness hath made me great. Thou hast also given me the shield of, my, of thy salvation, and thy right hand hath holden me up, and thy gentleness hath made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, that my feet did not slip. I have pursued my enemies and overtaken them. Neither did I turn again till they were consumed. I have wounded them that were not able to, uh, to rise. They, they are fallen under my feet. Trample the lion and the adder the young lion and the serpent. They are fallen under my feet. 
It's a recurring theme. For thou hast girded me with strength unto the battle. Our faith. Our strength. Our faith in him. He is our strength. For thou hast girded me with strength unto the battle. We are in a spiritual war. Thou hast subdued under me those that rose up against me. Thou hast also given me the necks of mine enemies, that I might destroy them that hate me. They cried, but there was none to save them. Even unto the Lord they cried, but he answered them not. Didn't know their voices. He could see their wickedness. He saw David was upright and righteous. Oh, they then did that. Then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind. I did cast them out as the dirt in the streets. Now, when Jesus came, he taught us to be peaceful, to be wise as a serpent. And gentle as the dove. And he fights our battles. Who, who could be more powerful to be your protection and your shield and for, for a place to take refuge? Where here David was in war and at, ba at battle with his enemies. Where now with Jesus... We pray for our enemies, and it's like keeping coals on their heads. It's the truth. But Jesus wants us to pray for everyone. He wants us to love one another as we love ourselves. And that's not just your family or your neighbors. Maybe you have a grumpy neighbor. You're supposed to love them too. Because we're all children of God. And some follow him, and some don't. And we're supposed to be praying for those that don't follow him. And praying for the ones that do, that they be strengthened and protected and cared for and healed and provided for. Yeah, that's what Jesus has taught us. Isn't it beautiful? And God is going to be our protector Yes, and even unto death, we stay loyal unto our Lord. Just like the knights of the round table, they swore their allegiance to the king. They spent their fortunes on the king to provide for the king because the king is the most precious, most honored, their leader, their teacher and they fought unto the death to protect him and uphold him and we we will fight spiritual battles to keep ourselves under his protection and we will call on him Psalm 91 and he will answer us because we know his name and because he knows our name. Oh, and here David continues, he says, Thou hast also given me the necks of mine enemies, that I might destroy them that hate me. They cried, but there was none to save them, even unto the Lord, but he answered them not. Then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind. I did cast them out as the dirt in the streets. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of the people and hath made me the head of the heathen, the Gentiles. A people whom I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves under me. 
It's different now, isn't it? But the Lord has not changed. His promises are still there. <laughs> you can count on him. You can count on the promises. You can stand on them. You can plead the blood of Christ over you for protection, for strength, for righteousness sake. Pay attention to his commandments. Know them. Write them in your heart. You know, he said all liars would take, be partakers in hell. Not some. All. Not if you tell a little lie or once in a while you tell a lie. All liars. So keep yourself from lying. And, you know, sometimes you're in a in a situation where you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings, you know, because they've asked you something and you want to be truthful because that's what God expects. It's a tough situation, but you can always change the subject. You can always say, do you really want to hear what I have to say in truth? Ask them. You know, or maybe depending on what their situation is, you know, an instance in the Bible that is a certain kind of situation where you saw how, you know, it was handled. And you could do that. You could handle it like that. But don't lie. All liars will have their part in the lake of fire. Bridle your tongue. Oh, it is the most evil member of our body. It's not what goes into a man. It's what comes out of him. Out of his heart. So, just keep yourself at peace with the Lord. Keep your heart pure. Do right by him. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of the people. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their close or secret places. The Lord liveth and blessed be my rock. And let the God of my salvation, Jesus Christ, through Jesus Christ, our Heavenly Father, it is God that avengeth me. And subdueth the people under me. He delivereth me from mine enemies. Yea, thou lifted me up above those that rise up against me. <clears throat> In the end times, Satan may get power over us as individuals, as Christians. But be faithful even unto death because life everlasting awaits. It awaits us and it's going to be so wonderful. Just imagine a place where there is no evil, no mean-spirited people, no gossipers, nobody, you know, being harmful to you or to your family, no overlord reigning over you, telling you what you can and cannot do. Because in heaven, we'll go in knowing what God expects, but then he's going to teach us things we've never known. How can you imagine being in the presence of God, seeing Jesus' precious face? Oh, my goodness. where it's going to be so beautiful and so peaceful, but most of all, so loving to be loved every minuscule of a second all the time. To be loved and cared for and that you can praise him 
could fall down at his feet and praise him and thank him for all the things that he has done for you in your life to bring you to righteousness, to bring you to the cross, to bring you broken to the foot of the cross, to wash your sins away, to be baptized in water and washed clean by the blood of the Lamb. Oh, it's going to be so great. But we have several things we have to um, endure. Oh, I say several things, but just know that when Jesus speaks in Matthew 24 about the sorrows, the beginning of sorrows. Now, sorrows is when a woman starts the pains or pains of childbirth. And just like those pains get closer together and stronger as the birth of the child approaches, and so will be the events that Jesus has forewarned us about. They're going to just come harder and faster and harder and faster and harder and faster. And it's not going to slack. It's not going to slack off. So, stay close to our God. Pray to Him. And talk to him. You know. Tell him how your day's going. I ask him. I, I say I hope you're having a blessed day. <laughs> I love you. You know. I should talk to him more. But I talk to him throughout the whole day. But I still feel like it's just. Not enough. That I need to do more. And, and that's why I do this Bible study channel, you know, where I read the word of God and I talk to you God's, guys about God <laughs> and about salvation and walking in righteousness and keeping his commandments and following his precepts, which are take care of the widows and the orphans, provide for the poor and the needy. Visit the ill and those in prison and be kind to the sojourner, the foreigner traveling through your land because at one time you were also a, a, a foreigner in a foreign land. <laughs>